Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Greg, and you're watching Two Old Guys with Crossbows. Um, we want to start this video by doing a little bit of the bear update, right? Yes. <laughs> because uh, it's been a late start for the bear sites, and but we have had a bear coming in, and that's a good thing. The only thing is, he's only coming at night, and also, we just had a couple of days of rain. That's right. So we haven't been out to recheck the bear site. But I'll show you some pictures of him when he came in and knocked over the barrel. As it says in the title, this is about the squirrel hunting with the Air Venturi Avenger, but we thought we'd give you a little bear update. So stay, so stay with us and make sure you're subscribed so you'll see the bear hunting that's coming up. But also we've started a Rumble account and I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. So please look for us on Rumble as well. And come and, if you can or will, come and subscribe to us there. Because on with YouTube's restrictions these days, I think they're going to start really clamping down on the outdoors hunting videos. And you're not going to be able to see all the great footage of the kill shots and everything that you want to see. Yeah, exactly. So, we are on Rumble, and I will put a link down below. And the other minor change to this channel is... We don't just use crossbows. Uh, we're not a crossbow dedicated channel. Hello, we were called two old guys with crossbows because that's how we started. We started this channel hunting with crossbows. But Greg does uh, air rifle now, and I'm doing. I'm more interested in the filming side of things. So we're gonna do more of those things so we've changed kind of changed our channel name on on rumble to two old guys living the dream which is exactly what we're doing you know we're living our dream life now and so we're you know the the basic focus focus will still be the same but it has been for the last year of air guns and filming and you know how to use this canon vixia hfr 800 and get the most out of it and that's what we want to bring to you guys so stay with us and we thank you for your support so far we love each and every one of you out there and please subscribe and share it helps our channel grow and give it a like warning this is a hunting video to share the experience with like-minded people and animals will be harvested. Do not watch if likely offended. Yeah, crow, I think. And boy, are they pissed off. Hi, everybody. Greg here from Two Old Guys with Crossbows, and I promised you in the last video, if you watched it, that there was going to be some hunting with the Air Venturi Avenger. PCP air rifle coming up. Um, I'm using the 23 grain NSA slugs in this and I was asked by my neighbor to come over and do a little squirrel control in this uh, yard because the squirrels were doing a lot of damage. We got those little red squirrels in Saskatchewan and they're in his attic. They've chewed holes through the screens in his sunroom. Um, yeah, a lot of damage. They're into his sheds. He had a mattress stored out in the in the garage or whatever, and the, they chewed it to pieces. So it's totally useless. He had to throw it away. Anyways, he came over and he asked me to do a little squirrel control, and I says, "Yeah, I can do that." So I quick threw together a squirrel feeder, and I went over and I hung it up, and I gave them a few days, and then I went over and took care of the problem. So let's get to watching the video.
a crow, I think. And boy, are they pissed off. Here's a little bonus footage. We had been out sighting the gun in, and this crow made the mistake of getting close enough where I could get a shot up. And down he went. But I thought I'd throw it in for you all to enjoy before we get to the squirrel hunting. I had to put an extra shot into him, but here he is. I'm going to pick him up off the ground. That crow was about 60 yards with a shot on the tree there. But it goes to show what these 23 grain NSA slugs can do. Knocked them straight down. They took a second shot, I think, but I missed him. But I did hit him with this one. And he hopped over, and then where you see me picking him up. I put together a quick squirrel feeder to draw the squirrels in and give them a nice still spot so I get a shot at them at my neighbors. Uh, quite simple. Screwed a few boards together, took an old peanut butter jar, cut a hole in the bottom and mounted it to the boards so the nuts could pour out and I could keep the top on so the rain didn't get in. And as you can see, it seems to have worked pretty well. The ammunition I'm using is the Nielsen Specialty Ammo, uh, 23 grain slug in .217 diameter and 22 caliber. And it does the job well on squirrels. And of course, the gun I'll be using for this hunt is the Air Venturi Avenger. And it's mounted, got the ATN 4K digital scope, the daytime buck hunter scope mounted on it. And that's what I'll be using to take care of the squirrel problem. So let's get on with the video. Well, I apologize about the shaky video here, but this shot was pretty much free there. Uh, this was the first little fella that came in. He was pretty fidgety and jumping around. And I think he seen me sitting on the, the deck. So he wasn't being very cooperative. But I took the shot, and uh, not the perfect shot, but it did do the trick. He falls here, and he tried to go up the tree, but he drops again. Moments later, that's the first squirrel down. Well, I went and picked up the first squirrel, and second squirrel came along. Right now I'm getting a better adjustment and he sits he's down all up down there, feeder pop straight down. Nice headshot. The twitching that you're seeing is just nerves. It's the thing with a headshot you get a lot of twitching. But they are dead. Slow mo, the same shot coming up. Actually, I heard him barking when I went out with the first squirrel. He was sitting up in the tree off to the left and barking at me. So I went back to my spot and he still decided he wanted to come in for some food. Hunger over rural 
rules, good judgment, I guess. Then again, where I am, these squirrels have never been hunted. He did try to trap some with very little success to get them under control. But this worked quite well. Straight down. Squirrel number two. Now squirrel number three I actually seen coming from a ways up across the tops of the trees. He was on a mission to get to this feeder. And, uh, here he comes, he's coming down the tree. I'm just getting positioned, steady better. And he kind of stops him. But he gets hot up, caught up in the branches here, and you can see he's, his nerves are firing and twitching. So I give him a couple of more shots. Make sure he's done. He was hung up in the tree here. I do pull him out of the branches. His tail was still blowing in the breeze, so I give him another one. Yes, the feeder setup worked well. As you can see, and this is squirrel number three. So, let me know what think of the footage in the comments below. I'm trying some different techniques and doing a couple of slow and then real slow mo so you can see the shots and let me know which format you like the best. I was on my own here, Jason was with me on these days, so I didn't have an extra camera set up. I'd like to get a camera I could set up out by the feeder for the bait, usually, and that runs on a remote, but maybe in the future. We'll see. So, first camera I got supposed to run on a remote, but they don't support that anymore. And it doesn't work. If you think it's easy filming a cell phone, try it sometime. It's not so easy. And coming up is squirrel number four. He caught me totally off guard because I was busy watching some 
robins chase each other around the yard, and all of a sudden I look over, and there's this little fella mooching away. But watch how this hits the impact. Perfect headshot just knocks him right over. And that was it for my squirrel hunting so far. Well, that's it for today's uh, hunting video, but I do want to make a little side note. Well, so you all know, we have started a rumble channel. And I will put a link in the description below to that rumble channel. And hopefully... He's going to come over there and support us there too. Um, just find that YouTube with the outdoors and uh, hunting videos are really clamping down. And we're just getting our subscriber base built on YouTube after three years. And I'm worried that they're going to start uh, pulling our videos down. We haven't had any warnings or anything from them yet. But uh, I've seen a lot of other guys that have are having a lot of trouble because of the content because they don't like hunting and they don't like self-sufficiency and, and that on YouTube. So we have started a Rumble account. We're free to share everything. A lot of the videos um, that I'm going to be posting on YouTube are going to be edited just for the uh, YouTube standard. But the full videos will be over on Rumble where you'll see all the action you'll see the kill shots and the after shots so please come over to rumble and support us there also if you enjoyed the video today please like share and subscribe you know what to do but anyways that's it for me today greg saying see you later until the next time